Look at Henrik Mass sprinting flat out up this climb now. Look at Roglic. He is sprinting because he wants to catch the second place rider. And Mass is trying to hold on. Meanwhile, Roglic thinks, I'm just going to show you that I was the strongest all the way through Spain. He's going to catch Mass on the top of the final little kick. And he's going to go driving past the time of Primoz Roglic as they go shoulder to shoulder around the final turn. Magnus Court's time, 44 minutes, 16.03. This is going to be a massive win here for Primoz Roglic as he aims for the line now. Roglic in the red jersey, hits the line. He wins the time trial. He wins La Vuelta. It's a hat-trick for Primoz Roglic. His 14th stage victory in his career. That is an incredible time trial. Behind him is Enric Mas. Primoz Roglic rode the last bit of the time trial as though it was the first stage of La Vuelta. He wins another Vuelta here in Spain. <laughs> Look how pleased he is. What a champion. What a rider. What a man, what a champion. Four stage victories alone in this year's Vuelta, taking three consecutive overall titles. It ended with a time trial, but it couldn't have been done. It wouldn't have been possible without his teammates. A truly exceptional rider. The team congratulate him. They've done all the work. What a superb time trial. What a superb race. Well, he almost went the wrong way. He always gives us something to talk about in a time trial, but there was no question who was winning this time trial at the end. He rocketed up that final rise. His performance is sensational. When you see the gear that he's pushing, the way he was taking and attacking every single climb, every dr uh, drag on today's course. The special red bike there, the Cervelo red bike, he carries onto the podium as the winner of La Vuelta. He's come second on four stages. He's now won four stages. The Olympic time trial champion delivers on the final day the same way that he did at the start. It's a time trial sandwich.